Greetings and welcome to all my brothers and sisters in Mama Africa and greetings and welcome to all my brothers and sisters in the diaspora. Now this video is for those that would love to visit Mama Africa, all of those that would love to visit or love to have a vacation in Mama Africa but you're thinking um, talking to people in, uh, in the diaspora who at this present moment can't afford it so this is my top 10 tips how to save money all right starting with number one and I've wrote I've written it down on a piece of paper because it's very early now in England you know you know my location is the UK as you can see it is bright outside but it is early in the morning so if I didn't write them down I probably end up forgetting at least half of them <laughs> I haven't got a computerized brain memory all right anyway here we go number one is eating out less that's like going to a restaurant eat out less or just cut it out number two bulky buying that's food obviously we have to eat food you know because food is the stock of life so when you're doing your shopping do a monthly shopping and if possible if there's in your area or town go to a food warehouse or go to one of the big supermarkets but if you're buying bulk big bag of rice or uh, whatever you eat it works out cheaper number three unplug everything in your house or apartment when i say everything don't leave nothing can stand by when you go into your bed i'm talking about tv kettle microwave your radio your hi-fi your fridge freezer i'm only joking don't turn off your fridge freezer you gotta leave you gotta leave that on because if you don't in the morning you know you'll see water all over the place okay number four okay cancel your cable and your sky contract cancel them um well in england we have free view and free view has got over a hundred channels and they're all free so you know that's one we have saved money cancel your you know your cable or your sky or you know virgin cable or whatever or whatever um cable you're using in your country number five cut your own ear you know that's if you do cut your ear like me you know see for the last 10 years i've been cutting my own ear and i know i've probably saved thousands and i know i've done a great job <laughs> i've been told that anyway okay number six books don't buy books don't buy no books unless you have to go to the library <laughs> I know if everybody listen to me, you know, I'll be putting some companies out of business. <laughs> okay, number seven, shopping, clothes, buy less clothes. Most of us have got so much clothes in our wardrobe that we only wear once or twice. But I'm talking mostly to the ladies. Because, you know, ladies, you know, the princesses, they seem to have more clothes than us men. But anyway, that's another story. Number eight, stop going to the pubs, as we call them in England, the nightclub or the wine bar. Or even if you don't want to stop, at least cut it down and go less. Number nine, you know, your house or your apartment, if you got a spare room, you can rent it out to a friend or a family. Number 10, your card, your visa card. You should have a card just to contribute towards saving to go away on holiday. Okay, and the, the last two is, is, or the last three is a bonus. Um, if you are going away, after you've saved all this money, if you're planning to go away to Africa and you saved all this money, book yourself into an Airbnb. You can find a lot of them on the internet. 
and they can be fairly cheap but it's up to you what um, Airbnb guest house you'd like to stop it um, plus as well as booking.com and I've used booking.com and I've used Airbnb and I haven't had no problems with them um, and if you want to book for cheap flights I would recommend because I've booked through them as well and I haven't had any problems Sky Scanner and the best way of saving money as well is book your holiday your flights early because if you, the earlier you book them is the cheaper your holiday will be so as I said this is going out to all those people out there in the diaspora or my brothers and sisters who would like to visit Africa but you're saying oh you can't afford it if you if you if you go by this list this list that I've tried to stick by myself when I've when I've traveled to Africa trust me you'd be surprised plus as well you can save money in a buckle you can save money also in a tin anyway thanks for listening and thanks for watching i am out of here